What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for episode 10 of our Madden 23 Carolina Panthers franchise mode. This episode is our first double header of the season as we take on the reigning defending AFC champions, the Cincinnati Bengals. They're four and four. They're a little disappointed. So they're going to be, I think they'll be up for it. They have the number two offense in the NFL. So that is something that's going to be a, a tough challenge. And then we're going to play our week 10 game at home against the Atlanta Falcons, trying to make it a clean sweep go 2-0 against our bitter divisional rival and make sure they stay at the bottom of that NFC South. We have a couple things we need to get through today, more so that have actually like triggered on their own some here. We got a breakout defensive lineman. Um, you know, the trade deadline has passed. That's one thing that kind of closed on the last episode. And we made some trades. You know, we got Visca Chanel, Roquan Smith. We've moved a couple other in line that has happened in real life with the Carolina Panthers, like Dennis Daly, to the Titans and stuff like that. But ultimately, I, I feel comfortable with where our squad is at here this season. And I, I don't really think we missed any good opportunity, any good situations to bring in any new talent. So for that, I feel pretty solid. So I think right now, all of our focus in today's episode is towards the doubleheader. Week 9, Week 10, and ahead of this Week 9 matchup, we have a breakout scenario for someone on the defensive line. We had to figure out who it is, and it's actually Yatur Gross Matos, star dev defensive end. He's not totally sold right now, but if he has a big performance against the Bengals, he will become a superstar. Hold the Cincinnati Bengals to less than 75 yards rushing and one rushing touchdown, or get Gross Matos two plus interceptions, forced fumbles, TFLs, and sacks, and we will get a brand new dev trade. I'm not going to lie, that's somewhat attainable, but then you look at the numbers there for the Cincinnati Bengals, and they are obviously the number one offense in the NFL. Number three in passing, number seven in in rushing so i don't know if we, we we go into this matchup knowing that it's unlikely going to be a victory but can we focus a little bit more be more so on the dev trade for gross matos let's go all in to try to stop the run if we're gonna lose at least see if we can try to get that dev trait in the event of a loss i don't know we'll try our best still needs to be said man like i'm kind of waiting on the contract negotiation window here because we got roquan he's still on a one-year deal overall interest of staying here is actually very good that we can kind of get a sneak preview of it here but he's sitting on that one year, you know, nine, almost $10 million deal. And I'm here like, just like, all right, I'm ready to negotiate. We don't have a lot of crazy money. We have $15 million of cap room. It probably will go up. Baker Mayfield sitting here. Honestly, I haven't been disappointed with Baker Mayfield, all things considered. And then you look at the rest of the squad. I mean, there's no one else there that's screaming. You got to resign them right now. Maybe Cody Barton would suck to trade for him. Sending Sam Darnold to the Seattle Seahawks, bringing Barton in. He's been solid. And then just letting him walk right away. But, like, the fact that there's still no option there for Roquan Smith uh, has me, like, a little worried here, man. I don't know. We're gonna, it's just, we got we to go with the flow on that one, I suppose. Uh, our last little bit of preview here before the Cincinnati Bengals matchup. We got to talk about how we are going to stop Joe Burrow. We have blanket coverage, sack goal. I think we'll go sack goal just to focus because I think because of the potential breakout, I do want to use the defensive line here primarily. And this boost gives us, you know, additional boosts to try to help get that dev trade for Gross Matos as our entire defense will have plus five finesse and power moves this week to try to bring the pain and get a massive, massive upset over the Cincinnati Bengals. I think knowing everything that's at play defensively, uh... <laughs> I think we definitely work and, and try to focus on the run. Again, it comes down to silver lining. If we get smoked, if we lose, it's kind of expected that we are going to lose. Can we at least get that dev trade? Uh, look at their defense. They are not the best. They're pretty good at stopping the run, but they're not the best at stopping the pass. Sure, we'll throw a deep. It's not really an element of our offense, but maybe that boost will help us out. We have all of our training. It's on, ha unless it doesn't you know, save. Everything is half pads to try to cut down on the amount of injuries that we are going through. Offensively, we are gonna be full strength. That's great. Defensively, this is like one of those ones like Gross Matos picks up an injury isn't playing, but we're, we're healthy. We're healthy on both sides of the ball. A good week of practice for both our quarterbacks. The present in Baker Mayfield, and we'll actually get him in right into a scheme fit up to a 7-8 overall. Would love to see, all right. You never like seeing the, the ones, the upgrades that you get that are like big time awareness buffs. Give me throw power. Give me, you know, something like that. And again, Corral also gets the boost there. But I mean, that's a big question we have kind of coming out from that last episode. We were talking about the draft class a little bit 
and we looked at some of the top quarterbacks and it's like would you guys agree with my line of thinking it's like yeah we could probably try to prioritize a quarterback in this upcoming draft especially if it comes down to like last second we only have a small window to renegotiate with roquan we won't have that money to pay baker mayfield so do we just give matt corral act as if matt corral is like a first round draft pick at quarterback or do we just try to target a quarterback in the draft i mean obviously more infor information can come out if we are in a spot to pick one of those top qbs uh in this upcoming draft class and we're like, if we know like Riker or Danny Wheeler or Holloway, any of those guys you see in the top five, and we're in those range, if we know they're going to be a baller, we, we already know Matt Corral doesn't have a dev trade. So like, there's a lot of information that we still don't know to maybe make the most informed decision there. But uh, I think we are good to go for the Bengals. I will say though, and a little bit of sad news and completely unrelated, but if some of you guys do watch and focus and pay attention to Battle Rap, uh, but local Battle Rapper, a guy that I know uh, did, did just pass away last night. Uh, and if you do watch, like I said, if you do watch Battle Rap, uh, he's one of the most popular guys ever to do battle rap, so I'll just say at this point. End the video. Rest in peace, Pat. Stay gone too soon. The last thing I want to do before our matchup here is we have 40 points to spend in our talent tree. So I think we just, again, the, the main goal this year is to get down and unlock the final piece. So we are going to get a plus 10% XP gain for our linebackers, and we're going to get a 10% XP gain for our corners. So now it's all about saving 25 staff points. Hopefully we hit our goals this week. And we can get the final piece within the next two, three weeks. Dead goals this week. We got five offensive touchdowns. That'll be tough. 200 offensive yards. Doable. 14 points or less. Very tough. 350 passing yards. Maybe. I like this one, though. Get two sacks and win. If we are going to win this game, we most likely will get two sacks. And that is 10 points right in the bank. All right, let's go, man. This is a big-time game for this man. 97 on the defensive line. Has to be going up against uh, Jonah Williams. Alright, we got booth review. So, can we get something here to save my ass? Ah, something happened! He stepped out of bounds. Here we go, here we go. I mean, still a ridiculous play to give up there. Holy shit. What a shot play. Come on, man. We need a pick. We need a big turnover there. You gotta hit us with that big play. We had to hit him right back in the mouth. Force fumble. Something ridiculous. Let's go, Gross Matos. A little bit weird too that we're focusing the guys, not Brian Burns. Oh god. Oh man. Fucking too easy, dude. Way too high. We're not getting shit today. Play like this. Alright, we got third and three. I'm looking Tommy Tremble here across the middle of the field. Let's get this first down. Boom! God, he's I, I think he's he said every time he makes a play, I, I I have a comment about Tommy. I think he's gonna be a good player for us. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I can't take shot plays. I, I forget my guy won there. I can't take shot plays. They get the uh, three-headed deflection for the pick. I'm sorry. I forgot. I You can't take shot plays on all Madden. Our guy beat him in press. Had the safety beat. Baker just <laughs> underthrow. How do you underthrow that? You have 95 throw power. We had him. That was it. I, I'm not going to complain about that shot. That was the right call on that play. DJ Moore got open. Baker couldn't deliver the ball where it needed to be. Fuck! Unbelievable! How does that not hit? That's like the one time DJ Moore's got off. And I think they're going to give us rough in the passer. If they just rough the passer, I'm quitting this game. I'm quitting. I'm going to restart it. I'm going to... Already given up on Gross Matos. I don't think we can hit it. Mine. Go. Go. You do not get caught. Need that. Need that. Dude, that's the game. That's the balances. It knew this game knew I had that touchdown. And like, you know, we'll give you one back here. We'll have Joe Burrow throw a throw a way too early ball to T. Higgins and we'll have JC Horn jump it. Oh, I like that slant there. We're gonna audible slant DJ Moore. Give him another opportunity. We'll just you know, don't 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 pick up the blitzer there. Soon as you get a little something good, Taylor Moten's over there going like, oh, just gonna fuck this up. 
I'm rattled. I, 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 you can't regain any sense of focus here the way I do live comms with the amount of bullshit and like failed to capitalize ability of this of, of the people that you aren't controlling. Look at this. There we go. Boom. Do we got something? Do we got something or what? Here we go. Brad Chrisley gets the big block. Take that. Second four. There's a light box. We can get this blocked up. Nope. Couldn't. Couldn't get there in time. I have 100% four down territory if we can't get in here. Second and goal on the five. Baker's got to do this with his arm. Throw it up. Nope. All right. Cool. You know, I, we could be thinking about four down territory. On the six. Oh, fuck. We'll take the field goal. It's one of those things, like, if we couldn't score from the six earlier, we just got pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. What makes me feel any more confident about our play calling to get that conversion? We'll take the points, punish them for the interception, but holy shit, it's going to be a long day. My offensive line can't hold up. Oh, we destroy him with Derek Brown. Of course, we missed the tackle. He almost breaks another tackle. Okay. All right, you got a chance to bend and don't break here. Go Roquan, middle of the field. Keep an eye. Come on. Yes, sir. I think he was looking. I think he was looking for Tyler Boyd. Barno gets the sack. It's not a gimme field goal now. Oh, oh, that was close. That was really close. Well, let's, let's fucking knock some on their ass here. Thank you. One thing I don't like is that a lot of these coach suggestion plays, which is how I like to run my series, not a lot of lead blockers. You know? I think we need to adopt running out of the eye a little bit more. Old school style football. Big runs, big runs, controlling the clock. Great drive. Second and 10, we got CMC out the backfield. Oh, what a, how did he not get both feet in? That looked to me like that was in bounds. He caught that. Can I challenge that shit? Should I challenge this? That's the timeout at this point. It looked good to me. Obviously, it could be a glaring omission. I just couldn't see it. One, two. That looked like two feet. One, two. That's in bounds. That is a catch. Successful challenge. Holy shit. It can't happen. It can't happen. Wow, let's go. One in a million. I gotta go buy a lottery ticket after this. Holy. We capped this one up. I actually know we have Brad Christmas just missing an easy block there. How are you that bad at blocking? Thank you. We got bailed out. We got bailed out by the best running back in the NFL. Man, I can, I can. Someday our, our offensive line is going to block like that. Someday. That's the dream. I want to be like you, my boy. Holy, must be nice. Imagine having those kind of holes with Christian McCaffrey. You know? Imagine the things we could put in those holes. Is it that bad? How are they just constantly open downfield like that and they make the crap? None of my guys challenge the throws. Like, let's at least jump up with him. Man, I don't know. Third and second, let's get this, man. Put a hat on somebody. Need that. 
Needed that, man. This is defending AFC champions. Here we go, DJ Moore. Crisp. First down. Okay. Wasn't meant for Tremble, but gives us something to think about. Fourth and one. Two-minute warning. I like that we're going for this. Clock's what we're going for, baby. Slants? Do we hit the slants? Is that too, too much inviting of, a, of an interception across the middle of the field? Lazy pick. Man, you just went for it, man. How's the coach going? Like, we're going to go for it. And then now we're not. I don't care what the stat nerds say. We are going to go for this. That's what it does. That's what it do, baby. Tommy Tremble at the sticks. Wide open. No risk it, no biscuit. I'm gonna I'm against my better judgment. We're gonna try to at least run it once. Well done. CMC ties this one up. Now, can we get into half with this score still tied? Minute 18 with how they've been hitting their deep shots downfield. I'm a little worried. Could have got aggressive. I, I, there's a chance there, I think, to make a play on the ball for Horn. Looking for that second pick of the day. But they are just like clockwork getting down into field goal range to go into half with the lead. Keep him a bounce. Ain't no fucking way, man. And they have like the greatest kicker of all time, Evan McPherson. Uh, like... Roquan Smith. That does not happen, man. That does not happen. Realistic, all Madden, 23 franchise mode. Roquan Smith is not getting fucking rocked like that, man. Man, they be like, they're biting on a lot of these. Like, they think it's pass. We think it's run. A lot of free yardage there for CMC. Or LaVisca should know right there. Gain of 19. What? Keith Taylor, head scout, five star scout. Bring that in. There we go. CMC. Big time run. 10 yards. Throw out the eye. Big boy football. Get your block. CMC bounces to the outside. And the Carolina Panthers score on the opening drive of the second half. Let's go, man. Upset of the year in the making. We can just stop the stupid deep balls. I think we I think we got a chance. We couldn't get it over the line against the Bucks. We have a great opportunity here today. Mine. There we go. JC Horn second pick of the day. Holy shit. Don't mess this up, C4. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Focus. Use this. Focus. Do not fuck this up. That was great pressure by Derek Brown as well. That man, they cannot stop our run game. They could I maybe mean, they just they went all in. They're exhausted now. All in on the first half of trying to stop CMC, especially in that first quarter. And now things are just breaking it wide open. Actually, like stick a little bit better. We'll go off the slants. The very rare time I won't go with a slants call because you at least get the slants here, but tremble. Has been getting open. CMC out the backfield. That's an option. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Come on! What was that? We have been the better team. They've also thrown two picks. They're a better offense and they've thrown two picks. So. Oh, how do we get no points there? Brutal. Something was getting broke. They, if they got the first down there, something was getting broke. Punt? That was ridiculous, first of all. That better be a punt. It is. Okay, we got bailed out. We got bailed out. We're calm. We're doing meditation. Some self-reflecting. We're going to put together a great drive here. Look at this. We're going to get blocked out. We're going to get some return yards here by Andre Roberts. There we go. Nice, easy slant. Holy shit, dude. Taylor Moten, wake up.
I don't know. We, we know what we're working with, right? We know what we're working with. Need a big throw? They're not really going to help you out. Can we get a gong here? Third and three, a chance. I mean, I mean, our defense, for the most part, is playing pretty good football. And Roquan blows that play up fourth and inches. Are they going to punt it again or are they going to go for it? They are in their own territory. And we have just forced them to another punt. Very proud of these guys so far. So we got some yardage here. We got some green in front of us. Second and 11. Go back to that man. Tremble. Ooh, that's good PBU. I know. I would tell you right now, you know where we're going with this. You already know where we're going with this. There, no other options. I don't even care if it's double covered. You know where we're going with, with this. You know where we're going with it. He's so unstoppable, man. That is, any anytime he's running that Texas route, I don't think it, there's a linebacker in the league that can stop Christian McCaffrey. Third and eight after two not great run plays. Oh, I was kind of actually hoping CMC would be out there. Keep an eye there. Oh, God, easy first down. Catch it. Bring it in. LaVisca Chanel, who has like sub-70 catching before our boost. He, I don't think he has a drop yet since he's been here wearing a Panther uniform. Perfect. Perfect. Oh! 1-0 to the Arsenal! Martinelli, baby! Woo! Let's go! 1-0 to the Arsenal, baby. Oh, we got to get a touchdown now. Inspiration. Inspiration. C4 special. That's how we're going to cap this drive off. Oh, no. This Arsenal goal is getting looked at by VAR. Oh. Oh, man. This is going to be... If Ian Thomas can make that block on the outside, we are walking this one in. Boom. Boom. Let's see this one out. Upset of the year. Four minutes, 39 seconds. Can we do it? Can we stop Joe Burrow? Can we stop Jamar Chase? And they call the goal off. Unbelievable. The corruptness that happens when Manchester United plays soccer is, is despicable. Of, oh, you're telling me that VAR took back a goal at Old Trafford? Shocking. It's unbelievable. And I've been to Old Trafford. That place sucks. Okay, it's not a bad omen. It's not a sign in the universe. We are going to win this game. They have nothing for us. Right there. Whatever, you, I'm putting this in the video. What do I do to make that not happen? What about a tackle is not, and, and you're using the right stick a little bit, is not bringing that guy down. That's Roquan Smith. That's the second or third time that's happened with Roquan Smith against Joe Mixon. What do I do? Someone tutorialize me. How do I stop that from happening? Please and thank you. We go short. I mean, they're four down territory, I guess, but you're just, you're just burning more clock there. Watch Mixon. Watch Mixon. That's out of bounds. Turnover on downs. The, we just beat the team that was in the Super Bowl. We did it, man. Great way to start out Sunday morning. Just like, all right, we got the double header. Knew that, you know, knew last night going to bed. We got two big games. I'm going to be playing them early. I'm not going to be warmed up. Pretty nervous. Shout out to Monster Energy. Looking for a sponsorship. 214 rushing yards. We were able to capitalize on their turnovers. They weren't on ours. And things were heated. That first that first quarter, you know, this video might get demonetized. There was a lot of F-bombs thrown around. But that just shows my passion and how ready I was to upset the reigning defending AFC champions. And we have just secured the biggest upset of the season. 31-20 in their Backyard. We beat the Bengals on the road in a matchup. We take a look at the stats here, focusing on us. Baker Mayfield, I mean, he was he made some good throws, 
Really, that first interception, though, I would have loved to see that deep ball to DJ Moore. Um, you know, 250, touchdown, two picks. Joe Burrow also threw two picks, running the ball. We got 165 yards, two touchdowns for CMC, 49 yards and a touchdown for Chuba Hubbard. Uh, Visky Chanel, 67, 76 yards for Tremble. CMC, 43 yards, had a touchdown as well. So we might have an offensive player of the week type deal coming on there. Defensively, Roquan Smith, even though there's some bad tackles that went on between him and Joe Mixon again. How do I fix that? Thank you in advance. Uh, Barno, TFL in a sack. You know, two picks, J.C. Horn. We called it at the beginning of this video, video of the series. J.C. Horn is going to break out. He's one of the most underrated, not talked about players on the Carolina Panthers. He has been money for us this year, and that is upset of the year. A couple big upgrades out of the game. Look at this Brad Christmason getting his upgrade. We'll bump that up a little bit. Congratulations. Maybe you'll actually start blocking. Ikki Aquanu, who's been up and down, I think. But generally speaking, I think out of everybody on the offensive line, uh, he could probably hold his head up the highest. Brian Burns, who since he's been back from injury, has absolutely transitioned and transformed how we pass rush, how we think about pass rushing. And then DJ Moore, a guy that I think could, should continue to break out in the second half of this season, even though he's yet to have you know the deep ball and in a massive 150, 200 yard type game. I, I think it's it's very close to happening. All right, so follow from the Bengals victory, we did our job. I think all things considered against Joe Burrow, the entire team has earned a thousand XP across the board, which we'll take that. We also have the breakout scenario for your Turk Gross Matos. I don't think we hit it. I don't even think he really made a play today, unfortunately. But you know what you told me right now going to this. You either get superstar dev on Gross Matos, which with dev trait regression on, it's gonna be a battle for him to close out the remainder of the year and maintain that dev trait. Or would you take a win over the Bengals? Taking the win over the Bengals every day of the week. Fallout, the last bit from week nine is we have an offensive player of the week. Go Both of them, offensive and defensive. CMC, 165 yards rushing, two rushing touchdowns, 43 yards to the air, a receiving touchdown. The two picks from J.C. Horn gets him a defensive player of the week. Now, something that has changed in Madden 23 franchise mode that we got to go double check is offensive and defensive players of the week can go up dev trade on that alone. For CMC's case, he's already an X-factor, but let's take a look here at J.C. Horn. Damn. I will say though, if you haven't if you haven't noticed that, haven't picked up on that yet in your franchise modes, anytime you have a player of the week, always always double check uh, to see uh, if they go up dev trade because it has happened. I have seen it happen countless times. I wouldn't say it's super common, but I would say it's probably like thirty percent of the time, like three out of ten times, you will see uh, a dev trade. Get it, and obviously, it's it's rare. That would have been huge for someone of J C Horn to get that. But very happy that both those guys in a monumental effort against. On paper, one of the best teams in the league, a top five team in the league. To get that victory feels good. Now we're back home. It is time to beat the Atlanta Falcons twice in three weeks. It is a short week, which leads me to believe this is a primetime game. Thursday night. So what do we got here? What's the plan? We're talking. We got Shaq Thompson here. We don't have as much time to prepare. Well, how are you guys feeling there, Mr. Red Gloves? Dominate on defense. Beat the Falcons and allow two or fewer offensive touchdowns. Why? What, at what point of like, hey, it's going to be a, a tough game, man. We're, we're short. We're not fully prepared. And then you immediately just go to your best, one of your best defense players and say, hey, you know what? Let's dominate them anyways. What kind of goal is that? Let's give it like a, somewhat of a light goal, an attainable goal, an easy goal. But I think this team, more than enough in terms of firepower, the confidence right now that we can beat the Falcons again. So looking, I mean, they like to throw the ball. So we are going to actually defend the short pass. That's where Mariota has been most effective. We didn't have to really worry about him rushing too much in the last game. Uh, and how we want to attack them, I think, again, we go throw it short. That's, a, that's an area they're not particularly good at. And like the first time we played Atlanta, let's just not challenge a, you know, AJ Trail too, too much. He's a very, very good corner. It is a short week, so we're going to go fairly light on practice. We got Cody Barton is going to be out with an ACL sprain. So we're going to be down one of our starters on linebacker. He's usually not always on the field, though. It's Shaq Thompson and Roquan for the most part. Offensively, we're healthy. Okay. So, I mean, we're, we're down a starter at linebacker, but we're down likely, like, the one guy that we had to be down a starter. That'd be fine. We got two big upgrades here we'll focus on. We got Derek Brown, who has absolutely stepped it up the last couple episodes, uh, and he needs to. He's a very good player, very high-ceiling player for us. 
And we also have an upgrade for Tommy Tremble, who has become one of our go-to targets on offense. I think maybe arguably our go-to player on offense, him or Visca you know, one of those two when it comes to the passing, which is surprising with guys like DJ Moore uh, on the team. But Tommy Tremble has been outstanding. I'm excited to see him continue to break out this season. Some lofty goals this week we'll go for. No sacks allowed is probably the least likely of all of them. 400 yards of offense. We got probably pretty close to that when we beat Atlanta last time. Now we're back at home, so that should be somewhat attainable. 24 points or less. I feel okay about that one. 200-plus yards rushing with how CMC's been playing, especially off our dominant rushing offense last week. Also in the cards, allow less than 300 total yards and win. I think some of these are doable. This could be a big week in terms of ordering stat points. Yeah, we'll hit him with a pass here. Let's go, man. That's, that's, we are the team with all momentum. They have no momentum. They are bottom dwellers in the division. God damn it, man. I got to start winning these tackle battles. I'm so afraid to engage in these tackle battles with like the, the fumble percentages and shit like that. Third and nine. This, is, has, this has really been a good play for us. We've been able to get right behind the linebackers. Bring the plan. Let's get off the field here. I'm actually not going to blitz. Even though I'm supposed to blitz, I'm going to go against what Coach says. I'm going to try and help these guys over here. It worked. Oh, my God. We bend. Didn't broke. Didn't get properly punished for it. I mean, I don't know, man. That was, that was a bad pick. I thought maybe it was a little generous break on the ball there from the linebacker. I mean, he looks like he went from standing there oblivious to like, oh, he got the pick. But... We have picked on that route. If they did their homework, they know that's something that we have been going to the last couple weeks. They did a pretty good job there. This is what we're missing, man. We're back. Back in the saddle. Back in the saddle. It's time to play at a high level. It's time to be great. Time to do great things. We're going to start by running out the guy. All right. All right. Oh, DJ Moore tapping the helmet. Usually you see the tap the helmet. That means they're going to get open deep. They love their skill. But we're going to... How the f- How do you miss that? All right, 67 overall running back, just. <laughs> Chance to get off the field here. We have third and five. We are going to drop back into coverage with Roquan, if I can switch to him here. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Punt that ball back, man. I'm, I'm happy with where I've developed. I think from where we started episode one to where we are right now, my defense has... Grown leaps and bounds. Offensively, work in progress. Run right behind Iki Aquanu. Brad Christmason. Woo! Hit that. Put that real quick. This could be this is this is what we used to call the Jalen Rager or was it the Jalen Rager play? It was the Jalen Rager play. He was always open last year. You can just float it into B. Look at that, man. We got to get this play going a little bit more. It's automatic. Might be the most overpowered play on offense. You don't even need to buy an ebook for that. I'll drop that knowledge for you guys for free. The Jalen Rager play is goaded. Third and two. We got, we're gonna we're gonna rely on Chuba Hubbard here. Out of the eye. Got a lot of confidence in him. That's close. Fourth and one. Same goddamn thing, man. Let's go the same damn thing. I trust this team. I believe in this team. It's one yard. Chuba Hubbard. Gets it, baby! Fuck! He got it! Light his ass up. But you know what? We gotta get back, man. The, the thing about that first Atlanta game is that we were doing very, very well at the line of scrimmage, using defensive linemen. Maybe we get back to that? We played so well, we got a breakout for Gross Matos. I bet the linebackers do their thing, trust that they'll be in the right position, and just focus on generating pressure when we can. Second and goal. Back him up, man. Let's put him in the bad direction. Oh, no. 
I mean, Chin, good good tackle. I think all things considered. Now it's time to bring a little blitz. We just say screw it, try to shoot the gap here with Roquan. Oh, we we didn't time that too too bad, but uh, able to punch it in the 67 overall running back, Algier. He makes a guy miss. Okay, a little bit of a break on that one. Need a touchdown here this drive. At least Grady Jarrett's a good player, I suppose. It's a little less frustrating, but... I'm so angry right now. So, what's going on? We just came off like we had like a lot of momentum last week. <laughs> like That could have been a touchdown. This is the call. I'll say right now, right this second. Seven minutes, 42 seconds left. It's the closest we've come to benching Baker Mayfield in out of any game so far this year. Oh, it's... Is that going to be first down? Are we going to keep the ball? They blew up our punter. Personal foul. Destroying the kicker. This, this, better, be, this better be Panther ball. We're going to accept that. Yes, sir. Okay, we got bailed out. We got bailed out. I feel like right there, that's karma for that whatever happened on that Christian McCaffrey route. Oh, DJ Moore going to have a chance here. I don't know if we'll be able to make it to him because we're going to have to look at probably Tremble Chanel. Oh! Finally. That is, that is history right there. That is the first time. All series that we've won like those jump balls and looked like the DB a complete scrub. We've had that on our end on defense where it's just like, why is my guy not making a play? At least it goes both ways here. Appreciate that. God damn, man. MVP of the first half. Gotta be this, this Falcons offensive line. They're just absolutely dominating. Big hit there. Let's get home here. There we go. Finally, close line. Brian Burns. At least we got something before the end of the first half. Something we can kind of build off of here a little bit. We got him going back in the wrong direction. We're going to be Roquan Smith holding to a field goal at worst. Right now, it's a long field goal. I don't know. Yeah, he's... we'll probably be able to make that one now. I kind of like that Bengals game, man. These kicks are like way off the marker. They curl in. They got some finesse kickers. Young Wei Koo is good. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Burn a timeout. 20 seconds remaining on the 44 of the Falcons. I say we do. I say we do. Thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. Timeout now. It's all the pressures on our clock management skills. We might be able to get a couple shots at the end zone. Terrified, though, that my offensive line won't be able to hold up, and it'll be a sack to end the half. Oh, my God. You're telling me you're seeing this, and you're not just going to close your eyes and hit A? Get in there! Let's easy mode! Easy mode! This year, these goggles, this setup, plus 30 IQ, plus 30 awareness. To see that before the play, Baker Mayfield diagnoses it. Confidence not particularly high this game. That's money. So easy. What is it? Atlanta's showing why they're arguably the worst team in the NFL right now. Yo, Brian. Dude. Dude. Like, what buttons do you press? What buttons? Like, if you guys could, like, circle here. What buttons you press? That's a 67 overall running back. Just dead to rights by one of the best defensive ends in the... Just what buttons? Please. For the love of God, what buttons do I press? No. No. All I can say, no. No. Nah. No. Not happening. No. No way. Absolutely no way. No. Not a chance. Get out of here. Yeah, man. 
they talk about in, in real life when you have, you know, open, usually the opening drive, you're opening 20 plays, in and out of halftime is scripted. That, was, that felt like a different type of scripted. You know, scripted plays bring a whole new meeting when you play Madden sometimes. Two point conversion. Let's knock him on his ass. Well, I got the slant. I'm a, I'm a fan of a good slant. That was a good time to call it. <laughs> uh, yeah. That play 10 times, you, you hit that 10 times, except that one time you don't hit it. Um, guy was open, wide open, exactly what we wanted for Denzel Mims. And um, Baker Mayfield did that. I mean, it was too good to be true. You beat Cincinnati, you're going to get humbled right away. Humbled right away, that's that's what we're... So our backs are against the wall here, man. Let's make some plays. All right, Roquan, just... You know, we've we've been we've been pretty decent at forcing our own turnovers. Don't feel like those are going to be too much in the cards today. But you know, when things look really bad for us this year, we've been able to pop a pick or two. Let's see what we can do. Terrific play, terrific play from the Falcons, man. We brought the perfect pass rush. They picked it up. Great execution. Even that, man. Behind DJ Moore. Oh, that's actually a decent ball. Tommy Tremble. Blade hit. Can we get an extra 15, please? Oh, there we go. Get in there, baby. Get in there, baby. Casey Hayward out with an injury. That's a starting corner for him. We got a pulse. Great drive. Great response from Panthers. Kyle Pitts. It's a tough assignment. One of them games. It's one of them games. Fringe field goal range. Chance to keep him out of the end zone. Force a kick of some sort. Watch the screen. Watch the running back. Pretty good coverage. Whole new field goal attempt. Hate that. Got to stay aggressive. PA crossers. Either this is going to work or it's going to be instant sack right away. Third and eight. Oh, I want to take off. I, 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 wanted, I wanted to scramble up through that. I think if we could have got past that line of scrimmage, I think Baker would have been able to get that first down with his legs. Everyone was kind of locked up there. Damn it. That's going to be just a holding, potentially. There's no... If that's rubbing the passer, this... Yeah. Yeah! One of them games. One of them games, baby. Hey, we beat the Bengals, though. That was cool. We need it, like... You know, we got to get... We got to get something to go our direction. Like an interception, a fumble. If not, the, the balance has just been completely off for the calls and the things that... The breaks have not gone our way. Third and two... Like this is gonna be a run, and it is. Oh, what's this roughing the passers? <laughs> Stupid like that. It's holding, we'll decline it. Whole new field goal. Send DJ more deep again. We got our we got our chain mover routes there. Chanel Johnson. There we go. This guy again. Just it was like throw that in front of him so he can keep running. Mayfield has struggled with those short, medium accuracy here today. Can we let these blocks develop, please? He's calling up another slant. Oh, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Let's go, Visco. Ah, win the tackle battle. Four down territory, third and one. I mean, C4 Special has worked before. It's worked in the past. And right here, you see, you go to the left. It's 100%. Can Johnson, can Thomas make that block? If they do, this is GG easy touchdown. Worst rushing offense. Defense, sorry. Punish them. 
But where the bigger story is, where is Christian McCaffrey? I love Chuba getting involved, but got to have it drive. Zero McCaffrey. A little worried because I did not see an injury thing pop up. It's time to be great defensively. This is where we need a Brian Burns sack fumble. This is where we need a Roquan Smith, a J.C. Horn interception. Let's blow this one up. Derek Brown looking at you, baby. No. This is Mine. Yes! Yes, this team got that dog in them. Let's go, Chuba. Let's go, Chuba Hubbard. You get him on the C4 special again? There we say it. Do we go the same? Can we get the same thing? They're kind of light on that left-hand side. As long as we get two blocks, this should be good. It is great. We are tied up. Extra point pending. It's all in the defense again. They got us the turnover. Can you get a stop? Can you keep them out of field goal range? A minute 57. Extra point is good. We have the lead. Okay. We get, he, felt, he felt our warmth on that one. I don't hate this decision. Not going linebacker. Let's just... Let's, let's, we're going to get there. We are going to get there. Third and three. Yes! Brian Burns! Needed it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. In what world is Mariota making that? You know? What world? Let's go! talking about baby uh, get these get these strings out of here let's go what a victory man what a freaking victory 2-0 and oh in the double header and it doesn't get any better than that had my doubts man went through a wide range of emotions throughout that game especially around six but we stuck with them we could have panicked we could have overreacted and went to the, the, the rookie. We stayed with it. We sweep the Falcons. We have a crazy amount of momentum. Who knows? Who knows how this thing's going to end? But we got a chance. We can... We might be able to... You know, wild card? Wild card year one? Looking at the stats. 35-34. We got... Uh, you know? Neither quarterback played a good game. All things considered, but you know, in, in terms of production, we have slightly evolved into you know a comfortableness with throwing the ball, pushing the ball downfield, Baker Mayfield. With that does come the riskier play. The 300 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. They you know the one of the worst rushing defenses in the NFL. We did get three touchdowns, but they absolutely shut down Christian McCaffrey. Visca Chanel, eight catches, 106 yards. Tremble with 93 and a touchdown, 92 and a touchdown. For DJ Moore, defensively, seven tackles, a pick from Dante Jackson. Two TFLs, two sacks for Brian Burns. Nixon and uh, Woods also got involved there. But Shaq Thompson getting the game ceiling pick. Dante Jackson getting us the pick when we absolutely needed it. Huge. Absolutely huge. What a performance from the Panthers. And the fallout. Things didn't go into plan, but we got it done. Man, 1,000 XP. This team deserved it with that epic victory. And the fallout from our second straight victory, aside from being 5-5. Five and five. Aside from that, we have a breakout wide receiver, breakout DB scenario as we head on to take on the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Wouldn't wait too long. This episode will probably be out on Tuesday. I think this will be a, like a single solo, dolo, let's beat the Ravens type episode. But it won't be too long of a turnaround for that. And off of that 1,000 XP, you know what? Who's the guy? Who's the guy off of that team goal last week that felt it the most? There could only be one. Keith freaking Taylor. Continuing to develop ever since he's gone to the offensive side of the ball. Playing on that O-line. Bringing the passion. Bringing the speed to the offensive line. That room. Those meeting rooms. 
our offense has been firing on all cylinders. We have found a, a, a confidence that was not there earlier in this season. We are throwing the ball. We are trusting our guys offensively. Does that have something to do with Keith Taylor playing tackle now? You guys, you guys can be the to you know make the decision on that one. But very, very happy. First double header, 2-0, back to 500. I love this team. Thing up and down, like I said, right, wide range of emotions, fury, anger. I'm gonna burn this team. You know, and, and, and you also just get like the holy shit, how we make that throw. Oh my god, how we get that pick, how we get that turnover, how we get that sack. You know, once the dust is settled, man, we're five and five. We got two straight wins. Doesn't it doesn't feel a whole lot better than that, man. On all man, we're doing it the hard way, we're doing it the right way. So that will do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the doubleheader. As always, like for all of our Madden 23 uploads, especially Panthers franchise, if we can crush that 1,000 like goal. If you enjoyed the gameplay that you saw here today, 1,000 likes, I would very much appreciate. Leave comments in the comment section below. I got three videos worth of comments that we're going to address ahead of this next episode. So uh, continue to provide your feedback, guys. You guys make this series what it is. And uh, I'll see you guys back here on the next one. I think there'll probably be a rebuild up for you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, it is C4 saying thank you very much for watching. Peace out. Love you.